Hi, what is up YouTube? Here are more upgrades for your Creality Ender 3 and 3 Pro. First, you have your stock feeder, which is basically made of uh, injection molded plastic. So you want to upgrade that to a metal one for durability and better extrusion. The next upgrade is going to make your printer quieter. These are feet noise dampeners that you can 3D print and use it on your printer to cancel the noise. Snap this in like this. The next upgrade is a cable management chain that you can 3D print and use it to arrange your cables. So to mount it, you just snap this piece under the motor like this. This goes like this. And then you're going to use this piece right here and snap it on like this. So like this. And now you have this loose cable that you can use the clips to uh, hold like this and then you can put more all right now it looks a little bit more neat so yeah you can do the same for the back for this cable you can use the same clips to hold them right here the plastic bed adjustment knobs can also be upgraded to metal ones but i haven't done this upgrade so i'm not sure how it compares to the stock ones the next upgrade is a rail cover for your ender 3 and 3 pro If you print overnight, you have probably noticed that the Ender 3 screen is very bright. So if you are looking for a screen cover, this is a very good option. This is gonna snap on like this. And then this has a hinge and it is printed in one piece just like this so this is gonna go on top like this and then these two sides are gonna be clamped together using this piece right here so this is gonna go like this the next upgrade is the glass bed this one has an adhesive back and a coated surface to help the parts stick better.
The next upgrade is a Z-axis stabilizer and a manual lever. And it uses a bearing to stabilize the rod right here. So you hook it up top right here and then you use the bearing to keep this one straight and I also have a knob to uh, move the Z axis up and down as you can see so let's go ahead and hook that up so I'm gonna have to take off these two screws so this one can slide in like this and there are holes on top so I can put back the screws I actually have to remove uh, all four screws because I have to lift this up so I can slide this over because the rod is a little bit longer all right so next step is to go ahead and add the bearing now I'm gonna go ahead and add the knob the inside is threaded The next upgrade is a pretty good one. It's a drawer that you can 3D print and use it to store items. And it also fills up the empty spot at the bottom of the printer. The next upgrade is a 3D printable fan housing. This will upgrade the printer's look and improve the cooling. So the first step is to go ahead and remove the old one. Then I'm going to remove and clean the fans. So the fans are cleaned. I'm going to go ahead and mount the fan right here.
so as you can see this setup gives you a clear view of your print it has more clearance at the bottom as you can see and yeah it looks uh, better it looks cleaner than the old setup and it's also an upgrade on the cooler fan duck as you can see it is pointing straight to the part it is cooling instead of the nozzle so that's it for my upgrade video hopefully you found this helpful if you did drop a like consider subscribing and i will see you on my next video